Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. Hello, Eliana. Good evening, Cesar. Good evening, Olga. Good Alejandra. Evening. Hello. Hello, Dalila. Good evening. Hello, Ingrid. Okay, Olga. Gabriela. Uh, Maria Magdalena. Crisia. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Do me a favor to activate your camera, please, so that we can see each other. Uh, not, that's better, right? That is better. I can see Gabriela. I can see Maria. I can see Crisia. Okay. And Lourdes. Hello, Lourdes. Cesar. I can see Crisia. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, do me the favor to activate your camera so that we can interact with each other and uh, so that we can see each other also, right? So actually, I have 12 people connected. And we're going to start in a couple of minutes. Because uh, I would really appreciate everybody gets connected into the class tonight because this is our first class right our first class now meanwhile the rest of the people got there let me see let us try to let us try to uh, know a little bit about about you I, I i need to know about you what can you tell me about you uh, iliana hello Peter. hello well, I'm 26 years old, <laughs> and I, uh, I I I already studied English, but it was like uh, 12 years ago. So I want I really want to uh, study there and learn. Okay, so you decided to continue this yeah, year. Because... All right, very good. Cesar, what about you, Cesar? What's new? Um, good evening, everybody. My yeah. name is my name is Cesar Ivan, and I am twenty three years old, and I I work at a supermarket. Yeah. Just that. All right, very good. Now, uh, one question: Do you know? Uh, do you know? Um, I know. Uh, were you in the same in the same course last month? Do you know each other? No. Is this the first time no. you see? Yeah. Now, for example, Elena, you don't know Cesar. That's true. No, I it's the know. first time you see him. The first time. Cesar, do you do you know Gabriela, Cesar? No, uh, no. I I I don't know <laughs> so well. <laughs> Okay, so that's better because you know we're gonna make friends. Do you like to make friends? Yes, I like yeah, it. Yeah, you like it. Okay, so wait, we're gonna know a little bit about every single person over here. Okay, we have Ileana, we have Cesar. Now we're gonna listen to Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela Noemi. Let us know a little bit about Hello. you, please. Hello, good evening. Um, my name is Gabriela Noemi Oriana Tejada. Um, I am 24 years old. All right. Um, I work in Tigo Money. Okay. Um, I like I like um play softball. Softball, that's good to do exercise, right? Maria Magdalena, what's new? What can you tell us about you? Good evening. Good evening. My name is Magdalena Mendez. I am forty years old. Uh, I live in Soyapango. I work at home. You work at home. Good. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Okay, Crisia, what can you tell us about you? Good 
Hello, they be very well. My name is Crisia, and I work at a school. Are you yes. a teacher? Yes, well, really, I am a technician, but I work as a as a teacher, right? All right. Uh, I teach computer class. That wow, is, that is my work. Yes, so I work there... with children, when children, jobs, everything. All right. So whenever we have a technical problem over here, we are gonna call you as soon as possible. Okay, okay Crisia. Okay. Okay. Now you can count on here, right? Count on Crisia. Whenever you have a technical <laughs> problem with your computer, with your cell phone, with internet connection, now we know. Oh, right? no. The <laughs> people the people are confused all the time. They they think that I can fix cell phone, uh, I don't know, everything. That, it is but totally it, different. Yeah. No, no. That's because when we listen to uh, somebody saying, I am a technician, we think that, <laughs> wow, wow, we have somebody who's going to help me. Uh, okay. Oh, really nice. Nice meeting you, uh, Christian. Uh, Dalila, we barely see you. Dalila, can you say hello to everybody here? Good evening. Uh, my name is Dalila. I work laboratory clinical. I am living in Morazan. Um, fine. All right, thank you. Nice to meet you, Idalia. Hello, Idalia. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Idalia Margarita. I live in Cojutepeque. I am teacher. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Juan Carlos. Now we can see you, Juan Carlos. Okay. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Juan Carlos Lopez Escobar. I am 36 years old. Uh, I work in Hospital Nacional de la Unión. Uh, I am doctor and... Well, it's all. Wow, we have I, a technician, we have a doctor. This seems to be like the perfect group. So whenever you have a sore throat, whenever you have a headache, whenever you have fever, so we can count on Juan Carlos, right? Oh, right, yes. Thank you. Wow, this is going to be a super, a super group. Okay, nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. Lourdes? Hello, Lourdes. Hello, hello. Well, I think it's as if Lourdes has some problems, technical problems. Let's see, Olga. Hello, Olga. Hello. Uh, my name is Olga Valdez. I am from Metapan, working. School. Uh, we have like three, two or three teachers over here. Okay, yes. I, I I feel very familiarized over here. <laughs> Excellent. Now Lourdes, hello Lourdes. Now yes. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is uh, Concepción de Lourdes Núñez. I live in Santa Tecla. I have uh, three children and I work in my house too. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that info. Nice meeting you, Olga and Lourdes. Liliana? Hello, hello, Liliana. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is Liliana Mina. Um, I from um San Martin, and I have one child, children, and. No sé qué más. <laughs> <laughs> and they say hello to everybody, and that, that would be enough. <laughs> hello. Okay. 
Okay, that would be enough. So it's like saying hello to everybody here. Hello, nice... everybody. Okay, nice, nice to, to meet you, you Liliana. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Aristides. Hello, Aristides. Are you there? Now, yes, we can see you. Hello. Uh, you you have problems with microphone, Aristides? Oh, Aristides, a good boy. Okay, let's see. Alejandra, good evening. Hello. Hello. Do you have some word for the group? My name is Alejandra Maria Mejia de Lan. 21. Mm. I am a student English. All right. I am El Salvador. You are from El Salvador. Well, nice to meet you, Alejandra. Aristide, yeah. did you solve the problem? Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, yo pensaba que me iban a mandar a básico. Esto es intermedio, ¿verdad? Uh, this is intermediate. That's right. Intermediate uh, one, Aristide. Okay. My name is uh, Aristide Flores. I am from uh, Antiguo Catlán. I am work. I, I am working in um, multi money. Um, I like uh, football. Uh, okay, N nice to meet you. Excellent, nice to meet you, Aristides. Hey, I highly recommend you to stay here in intermediate, okay? Don't move to basic. You're doing a great job, okay? <laughs> okay. okay, Ingrid, hello, Ingrid. Now we're missing like three people more, Ingrid, Claudia, Carlos, and Elena, right? Then we're gonna start. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Ingrid uh, Ventura Lucas. I am 23 years old. I am a student. I live in Cincinnati. Uh, I like listening to music. And you like listening to music. Pretty good. Nice to meet you. Okay. Claudia Margarita. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Claudia Constante. I am 27 years old. I live in Sonsonate and I am graphic designer and I work from home. That's and you all. work from, from home. All right. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice now two people you. more and then we're going to start with everything that I have prepared for you. Carlos David. Thank you, Carlos, Hello. for activating your camera. Hello. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Carlos Lopez. Uh, I am 30, uh, 32 years old. Um, I work in, audit, in auditing and accounting. Uh, my hobbies um, is cleaning. I like... Uh, Finish. Okay, Carlos. Okay, thanks for sharing the information. Nice to meet you, Carlos. And we finally have Elena, right? Elena Marisol. Okay, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, my name is Elena Peralta. I am 26 years old. I live in San Salvador. Um, at this moment, I don't uh, have a job. That's why I am learning. I am learning uh, English and languages, so I can find a very good job. And I like to practice a lot to be able to speak uh, very fluently and learn new vocabulary. Okay. Um, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, I know and I 
uh, I have my own expectations about this group, right? This is intermediate English one. Okay, and I can see only responsible people, people who want to move on, people who want to learn a second language for different purposes. Alejandra, hello. Mire, teacher, a un compañero no le han mandado el link y hasta se inscribió. Yo se lo compartí, va a ver si puede entrar, dice, porque yo le pregunté si ya estaba en clase y me dijo no me ha mandado nada. Ah, okay, thank, thank for sharing the link, Alejandra. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, well, I, I, as I was telling you, well, I have my own expectations. Uh, Alejandra, I want to say something else? No? Okay, so, hey, well, have my own expectations about this course. It will be only for about a month. You know, we have like four weeks uh, to be like sharing information and learning a second language. So that's why I have decided to present this information. I know that you that you are very familiarized with it, but it is important to, to remember some of the points that we need to take into consideration. The course, Intermediate English module number one. Well, now it's my time to introduce myself. Hey, my name is Enrique Ernesto Morales. I am an English teacher and I have uh, taught English for about like 15 years, okay? Formally, okay? And I really love to teach. I, I'm really glad to see you over here and I hope to do my best effort over here. I hope you do your best effort as well. Well, I will raise only the, the the ones the points that I consider are the most important to remember. Like, for example, the first one that in which we are in charge of um, getting the eighty eighty percent uh, from the homework assignments and evaluations. Okay, to finish this course satisfactory. You know there are different homework assignments in which. Uh, you will uh, you will be asked to go over the platform just after every uh, I mean at the end of every single class, okay. Um, all all the activities uh, are gonna be related to the topics that we discuss every single night, of course. And we I have like some dates that are important. For example, uh, you know that at the at the middle. At the middle of the of the course, we are going to encounter an evaluation that we call the midterm, and the midterm is going to be done due to uh, October the fourth. Um, I, I would really appreciate you solve that uh, midterm in that date, and later we have second date, which is almost at the end of the of the course. And that's going to be, you know, the final exam. We're going to have the final exam in the platform. And that's going to be due to uh, October the 18th. There is a PDF uh, book, uh, which you can download from the platform also. Remember that um, I need to see the your complete name in the in the Zoom account. If you, in, in case you are not going to be able to participate actively in the class, you can include like the word like listener, okay, so that I can see that you are not, uh, that you are only paying attention to what we are doing in the class. Remember to activate your camera. That's important to interact and to see each other. Okay, and now as you can listen, there, there are some dogs nearby here. And they're interrupting me now that I, I don't like it. But for me, it's impossible now to, to avoid it. But uh, let's try to minimize the, the sounds, okay, that may affect the class. You know, it's important for you to, to get into the class every single night. It's only it's going to be only for one hour. And... You know, we are going to be here during 60 minutes exactly. So do me the favor to get into the class on time and do me the favor to leave the class on time. 
<laughs> you know, I will check the list of attendance uh, twice in the class at the beginning and at the end. I will try to do it very quickly so that we cannot spend too much time doing so. So whenever you listen to your name, say, hey, hello, teacher, I'm here. And I will take it into consideration. Okay. Now, uh, something else that I that I can see in here is that at the end of the class, well, uh, uh, we're going to take like five or 10 minutes in order to clarify doubts or to or to provide some feedback about what we have been doing during the class. Permissions are not available. Okay, so do me the favor, try, try to be in a class every single time and that you are required to do. Now there is a mute a button. Remember that when you are not participating, you can use, and actually I highly recommend you to do it so that we cannot, or, or we cannot interfere with the class itself. Remember about the camera, there is a chat, there is another tool in which we can uh, interact, we can participate. Sometimes we're going to have breakout rooms uh, where you're going to work in pairs or in groups. Uh, sometimes uh, you are going to need to ask for some help so you can raise your, your, your hand and ask for help. And this is the most important, I think, respect. Respect the effort every person is doing here. Okay, so as you know, we have like uh, four different weeks, okay? As I told you before, uh, the first week, we're gonna try to cover section number one and two. Week number two, we're gonna have section number three in the midterm. In the week number three, we're gonna cover the information about section number four. And in the week number four, we are going to uh, finish the course by solving the activities in section number five and solving the final test. We're going to have listening activities, speaking activities, reading activities, and writing activities, which are the four macro skills we develop in a, in, in a language. We're going to work all also individually. We're going to work in couples, and we're going to have group activities. Welcome to Intermediate English Course, module number one. Any question? No questions? Well, I, no. I try to do it very fast, you know, because I know that we only have one hour and we need to start working a lot. And in order to start, we're gonna see something here. I, I, I got this one. There is a game over here that I encountered in the web, and I, I consider it's, it's really good. Now, do you see what I have here? Yes, no? Tengo la inquietud, si yo entendí bien que... Teacher. Hello, Olga. Sí, este, no sé si entendí mal, pero esta semana solo los tres días, no se va a recuperar viernes. Uh, well, this this is from Mon the course is from Monday through 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 Thursdays, okay. Fridays we're not having classes. Son cuatro días, verdad? Yeah, exactly. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Y ayer no la recibimos, entonces no sé si siempre tres días o se va a reponer viernes. No, we're gonna we're oh. gonna work on uh, until Thursday. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. okay. Solo es, quería asegurarme oh. que sí había entendido así. Okay. Pretty good. Thank you, Olga. Well, teacher, eh, una. Teach. Hello, hello. Sí, teacher, una consulta. Ya pasó lista. No, no, no. I, I will do it just before leaving. Oh. Okay. Because because of the because this is the first time, oh, right? Okay. We we see each other, but I will do it just before before finishing the class. Okay. Okay. Now okay, we're gonna start. You. Now you're gonna tell me the past form of the verb, the one that you consider are correct. Only the ones that you consider are correct. Uh huh. Tell me, please. Simple past of verbs. No one. Have. 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 All right. What else? 
was 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 all right uh, 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 Bridget? Uh, no, uh, no no sorry i'm sorry uh, Oh. Past tense, past tense of some verbs. So here, began, began, began. Yeah. all right. Wanted, wanted, wanted. 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 and was also went, went, went. 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 Yeah. No, 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 I'm sorry, but that is not past tense. That doesn't exist, actually. Run, run, swam. Run? Swam. And swam. When? When? What else? No more? Chose. I oh. chose a goodbye. Oops. I mean, hey, they, we got like nine points. Really good. It's not that bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, so just introduce, that was just to introduce the topic. And uh, well, it's because over here we're going to be able to talk about past using was and where was and where but not only that and also various regular and irregular verbs that's why I, I i i include that exercise at the beginning like examples i was born in korea i grew up in the united states i moved there i moved here 10 years ago i didn't speak english additionally you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense the conversational English lesson will help you to discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. So we're going to see, we're going to have some review, okay, about the way we uh, create statements with simple past tense. Do me the favor to pay attention because I consider, or I think that the video is a little bit Hi everyone. Long. It's By like the seven end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past. Now at the end, I, I will ask somebody to 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 make a review about or to make a summary about what we saw in the video. So be ready. Using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements either positive or negative as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago and we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past such as I didn't speak English then. Finally what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past and the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past either with the verb to be as you can see it's slightly different and also using the auxiliary did let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write down the formula real fast in order for us to make sentences in the past particularly positive sentences in the past we're going to have a subject and then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved 
here ten years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I had to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Okay. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't, okay? And then this follows the verb, and then whatever it complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well. First of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present, the verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have to no, sure WH word so that follows what Hillary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There you go. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we yeah, simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. Ne esa computador? The this last is, thing this that is I the like last part, is people. Pay attention, questions, please. Which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where 
or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Okay, people, now it was a little bit long. It took that like the bird to be. It took like seven minutes, but really significant to have some review. I know that you have studied simple past in the past. <laughs> I know you have studied simple past in the past. And that's why I'm gonna go directly to to ask some questions to you. Okay. Uh, do you remember? And when you were when you went to school, yes or no? What? Where, where did you go to the middle school? What's the name of that school? Do you remember? We have questions that are in past, right? Where did you go to middle school? What's the name of the school? Whoa. Where? The place, right? Hi. Let us start with the second one. A, hey, when did you first study English? Anybody in the group, please. Otherwise, I will choose some people. You can raise your hand, you can participate. When did you first learn or study English? What? Where or okay. when did you study English by the first time, Ileana? I studied English for the first time in, I think uh, it was two years ago. Okay, like two years ago? Twelve. Okay, very good. So that's what I want you to tell me. Thank you, Ileana. Uh, did you have a pet when you were a child? Anybody from the group? Hey, did you have a pet when you were a child? Um, when I... You... Okay, Car I think Carlos wants, wants to participate, Carlos? Uh, not teach. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have a pet. You don't. But remember, people, right now, uh, we are asking about past tense. We are talking yes. about childhood memories. Child. That's why I. Uh, hey, do you have a pet when you were a child? Who had a pet um, when? When being a child, for example, teacher, my answer uh, is I don't I don't have a pet. No, you didn't have you didn't have a pet when you were a child. Uh, you didn't have okay, thank you. Uh -huh. You didn't have a pet when you were a child. Now, who was your hero when you were a child? Hero. Who was your hero when you were a child? I hero. Can I? Can sure. I? Is it better? Okay, Caesar. Caesar, right? 
Okay. Um, when I was a child, my favorite superhero was Spider-Man because <laughs> because uh, because uh, he a lot of times uh, helped the people. I was... Okay. Thank you, Cesar. Hello. Mar Margarita wants to participate. Um, my my quotes hello. Uh, uh, is, uh, is Batman? Batman, all right. <laughs> okay, why Batman? Batman was your hero when you were a child. Okay, don't worry, people. Okay, we're gonna stop going here because, well, this is only for you to get familiarized with the topic. Okay. Now I will I will share a link that's going to be very useful for you to have a very general review. This is this is the this is the the link, okay. Uh, I will share it with you in the chat so that you can see the information and you study the information tonight and tomorrow. Let me see. You you can see the link in the chat. It's a link that's going to be very meaningful, people, to have a very general review on simple past tense, because we need to go over it, right? So, but. Mm, well, I will I will try to explain uh, briefly about what's in in, uh, in the presentation we saw in the video. So I will try to uh, explain the way to use simple past tense. In, I mean, and present some examples. Simple past tense, how to use it, and provide some examples. Uh, okay, simple past is a verb tense that is used to talk about things that happened or existed before now. So they are in the past. Imagine someone asks you what your brother Wolfgang did while he was in town last weekend. Wolfgang is the name of a person, right? Entered a hula hoop contest. He won the silver medal. Over here we have a regular verb and over here we have irregular verb. Uh, we also have that the simple past tense shows that uh, you are talking about something that has already happened. Unlike the past continuous tense, which is used to talk about past events that happen over a period of time. Well, the simple past tense indicates that the action occurred at a certain time and then was completed. For example, Wolfgang is the same person, admire the way the light glinted of his silver medal. We have also simple pass of the verb to be. He was proud of his hula hoop victory. The contest was, he was at his best, etc. right? So we have simple past tense with regular verbs. Uh -huh. And what is the characteristic of regular verbs, people? What is the characteristic of regular verbs? ED. ED at the end, right? Play, mm -hmm. typed, listened, pushed, loved. Okay, so those are regular verbs. We identify regular verbs, and uh, I hope that you also identify the way to pronounce them. For example, pass of play. 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 Pass, pass Play. of type. 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 Pass of listen. 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 Pass of push. 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 Love. 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 
All right, so you have the first homework with me. Tiene la primera tarea conmigo. Sorry, that, but I will change into, I will switch into Spanish, okay? La primera tarea que tienen conmigo es investigar la pronunciación o cómo identificar la pronunciación de los verbos regulares. En pasado, Bye. por supuesto. Esa es la primera tarea. Ok. First homework. Mañana yo voy a elegir a dos personas para que nos lo expliquen. ¿Cómo identificar el pasado de los verbos regulares? Hay tres, tres pronunciaciones y tenemos que estar claros de cómo se usan. Ok. La primera es este sonido al final. Ay. La segunda es Ay. este sonido al final. Y la última es este sonido al final. Entonces, cuando yo sé que debo usar el primero, cuando sé que debo usar el segundo y cuando sé que debo usar el tercero. Eso tiene que estar muy, muy claro. ¿Ok? Muy, muy claro. Ok. Ok, pretty good. So, mañana vamos a hacer esa, vamos a presentar esa tarea. Now, for irregular verbs, things get more complicated. And I don't like the word complicated, actually, because it is not complicated. The only thing that you need to do is to learn the verbs by heart. Past of put, put. Past of cut, cut. Past of sit, sit. Cost, cost, hit, hit. But it is not that way all the time. Because you have C, so build, build, go, went, do, kill. Uh, rise, rose, um, is R, was in queer. Um, to, in order to make it negative, you know that you need the auxiliary did, you need not, and you need the verb in the base form. You need the auxiliary did, you need not, over here is in the contractive form, the verb is in the base form, and then you have negative statements. But with the verb to be, it doesn't happen that way, right? So if you want to make negative statements, you need to include was and not, or contractive form wasn't. If you want to, or if you need to do, to create um, a sentence by having like a plural a noun, you say were not or weren't. In order to create questions, you know that you need to start by using did at the beginning, or if you are going to create a double H question, you need to include a double H question word at the beginning, then the auxiliary, then the subject, then the verb in the base form, etc. Complement and the question mark. Okay, so in over here, you have some examples such as. Uh, these are uh, regular verbs, right? All of them are regular. You say ask, in the past is? Ask. Ask. Ask it. It sounds with T. Le voy a decir de estos, okay? Esto suena como T al final. So we say ask. Ask it. Ask. No, ask. no. Re let, let's see. Lo que va a sonar como T es la ED. Entonces... El verbo es ask, y después de ask, tenemos que tener el sonido de la T. Asked. Asked. Okay. Asked. This one, work. Asked. Work. 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 También suena como T. Now, this one, call. 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 Esta suena como de cold. 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 And this one, used. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Didn't use. Now, negative form, didn't ask. Didn't work. Didn't, didn't call. Did, didn't, didn't use. Didn't use. And didn't if you see, cuando usan el auxiliar, el verbo siempre va en forma base. All right? Don't forget. Estamos haciendo nada más un repaso. Por eso es que vamos un poquito, un poquito rápido con esto. Now, let's see. Well, you know, you are going to encounter uh, that information over there. We're going to get back to the platform and we're going to see this exercise. Let us solve this exercise. Okay. Now, you're in charge of answer or choosing. 
the best response to, to the question. Hey, did she play soccer in high school? No, she didn't play soccer in high school. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. No, she soccer didn't play in high school. What is the best option? Number okay, one, number two. number two, or number three? Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Choose the best response to this question. Hey, when did you graduate from college? I graduated from college in, in 2005. I graduated from college in 2005. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. From college in I graduated from college in from college in I write from the second option. It's a second option. All right. Number yeah. three, I grew up in Houston, Texas. What is the question for I that for that answer? answer? Where do you grow? First, you second, or third? Where where you first. Oh, it's the first. It's the first. Second. Or the second? You say the second? Where? Yes. Not first. It's first. Right. Yes. So let us analyze the second one. So where? Okay. Deal. Okay. You. Okay, now, well, what, what about a, this one? Uh, the pass or the bear? If you have D, no, what, uh, what do you have? Pierce, Pierce, Pierce. Ah, uh, it's the first then. All right. Mm -hmm. It's the Pierce. first. It Pierce. is the first then. All right, number four, choose the best option. I began mm -hmm. to study English two years ago. When did you begin to, to study English? Begin to study English. It's the first. first. Well, when? when? When did you begin, begin to study English? Number five. Did you have a pet when you were a child? Yes, I, I did. Yes, I did. So let us check it. Yes, please. I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Pretty good, so no, no problems, right? So we did it. Recuérdense que estas actividades están en la plataforma y okay. deben realizarlas en eh, cada vez que entran a clase, ¿ok? Lo hacemos acá como grupo y ya luego ustedes las resuelven de manera individual para hacer un repaso. All right, so now we have... Um, information about about simple past tense and we're gonna see simple past tense with the verb to be and this is gonna be the second homework esta es la segunda tarea okay que estudien este video el segundo video que lo estudien porque vamos este a entrar a, al ejercicio casi automáticamente lo vamos a ver una vez y luego vamos al ejercicio el día de mañana uh, let me see. Tienen una tarea, ¿no? ¿Cuál es la tarea? Pronunciation. De ver. Hay que, ok, hay que aprendernos sí o sí cuáles son las reglas de cómo pronunciar los verbos regulares en pasado. Eso lo aprendemos sí o sí. La segunda tarea... Uh, es lo del video, ¿verdad? Hay que ver ese video. Y eh, una última tarea. Uh, que nos cuenten una historia que nunca, nunca se les va a olvidar. Algo gracioso, algo que ustedes dicen, wow, esto voy a llegar a viejito y no lo voy a olvidar nunca. Nunca, nunca, nunca. ¿Ok? Para que nos conozcamos y al mismo tiempo practiquemos lo que hemos estado estudiando. ¿Les parece? Creo. Tenemos esas tres actividades para el día de mañana. Eh, vamos a ir tratando de optimizar siempre el tiempo a modo de que la hora surta efecto en nuestro aprendizaje significativo. Voy a pasar lista. Ahora sí, Alej Alejandra María. Presente. Ok. Uh, Aristide Sotoniel.
Carlos David. Presente, Present. perdón. Uh, Aristides. Sí, presente. Ok. Uh, Carlos is over there. Carlos David. Presente, chat. César Iván. Uh, César, César Iván. Presente. Claudia. I'm here, teacher. Concepción. Present. Ok. Eh, Dalila. Present, teacher. Elena Marisol. Well, Elena, Elena. Gabriela Noemí. I'm here, Mr. Enrique. All right. Idalia. Present. Ok. Ileana. Ingrid. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Grisia Morena. I'm here. Liliana Dolores. I am here. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga Lisset. Present teacher. Rina Margarita. Present teacher. Wendy Beatriz. Wendy Beatriz. Oh, she's absent, right? Okay, and the other person that's absent is Elena Marisol. I remember I saw Marisol here. Yeah, Elena, Elena is over here, but maybe she's having problems with her audio or with her speakers. I don't know. Okay, so I will make a pause over here. Teacher, a mí no me pre, a mí no me pre, me pasó lista. No, Luis Alejandro, give me a second, please. Presente. Give me a second, Luis. Sí. Okay. Luis, regáleme su nombre completo en el chat, por favor. Ahorita, teacher. Ahí está, teacher. Gracias, Luis. Ok. Ok. Eh, vamos a, vamos a, a... Tenemos que tres minutitos solo para eh, eh, platicar un poquito de cómo se hicieron la primera clase. Ok. Creo que hemos iniciado muy bien. Eh, siempre voy a solicitarles que estén 100% conectados a la clase, muy concentrados. Y eh, si ustedes se fijan, yo voy a empezar a, dependiendo de lo que vaya observando, yo voy a empezar a dejar tareas, ¿ok? Esas tareas son challenges, son este, pequeños retos que yo voy a ir lanzando a modo de que ustedes vayan ganando confianza y vayan ganando a conocimiento confianza, conocimiento, y voy a pedir eh, muy, muy eh, regularmente que participen en clase de manera activa, ¿ok? No solo escuchar, ahora estamos en, en intermedio uno, es momento de empezar a crear, a compartir, a practicar, ¿ok? Eso va a hacer que nosotros crezcamos en el idioma. Cada día ustedes Mm, recomiendo, sugiero que aprendan una frase, una frase, algo nuevo en inglés, un verbo, eh, de tal manera de que, pues, cada día que pase, nos enamoremos más del segundo idioma, ¿ok? Ah, no sé si hay consultas o alguna duda antes de, de retirarnos. Eh, alguien por ahí preguntaba referente al día viernes. Fíjense que este, yo acabo de, de preguntar acá en el, en el grupo donde están todos los facilita facilitadores. Perdón. Y sí, efectivamente, el día viernes vamos a recuperar la hora que no obtuvimos el día lunes. Ok. Ahora sí ya lo confirmé y día viernes vamos a estar conectados. ¿De acuerdo? 
Yes, teacher. All right, yes. so we're going to stop by here. Si no hay consultas o algo que quieran uh, agregar, nos quedamos por acá. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.